New cases of RSV have hit the highest level for any single week in the past two years. Respiratory senosal virus is a common cold-like virus. Now, most people recover in about a week or two, but it can be serious, especially for infants and older adults. According to the CDC, there are more than 7,300 cases of RSV. That's for the week ending in October 15th. 15% 15 of PCR tests came back positive for the virus. Now, joining me now to talk more about RSV is Dr. Mobin Rathor, a pediatric infectious disease specialist at Wolfson Children's Hospital. So first off, welcome. Thank you for being here with us. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. So can you tell us more about RSV and how does it even spread in the first place? Yeah, RSV is one of those uh, viruses that uh, we see almost every year. And uh, most children, by the time they're two years of age, uh, get this infection. Uh, uh, in the past uh, years, since the pandemic started, the time the RSV infection occurs has changed. It usually occurs from about uh, end of September to uh uh, end of March, early April. Uh, but uh, first year of the pandemic, we hardly saw any RSV infection. And then uh, last year, the infection actually started sometime in May or June. And this year, it started July, August. Uh, and uh, it was not a very prolonged season. We didn't have a uh, lot of infections uh, in, 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 the, in the first year. This year, of course, we are seeing a lot more infections than in the past. And who is at high risk for severe RSV? Yeah, so the, uh, as I said, uh, the infection occurs all, almost all children by the time they're two years of age. But the children who, uh, once they get it and are at uh, in higher risk are those who are premature, may have some lung disease, may have heart disease, some immune deficiency. So these are children who we consider at high risk. And for those children, we have a medicine we can give them to prevent. Remember, there is no vaccine for preventing RSV. And actually, there's no treatment for uh, RSV if it occurs. But you can uh, follow the some common sense things, good hand washing if you're sick, uh, you know, avoid contact with those uh, who, who, uh, young children who can get the infection if you are, uh, you know, and just, you know, the, don't go to work if you're sick. Uh, RSV can just look like a common cold in many uh, individuals. And if uh, children uh, get very seriously ill, uh, they can have, uh, they can be hospitalized and they can be in the intensive care unit as we are seeing some of the children uh, in this season. And speaking of hospitals, we know several children's hospitals across the country say they're overwhelmed with patients. Is Wolfson seeing an increase in patients with this illness as well? Yes, we are seeing a large, larger than usual number of cases of RSV who are coming to our emergency departments, who are being admitted to the hospital. Uh, and I think these children uh, are basically, uh, you know, what happens is the RSV infection is a wide spectrum. Most children who get RSV probably don't even get to a doctor. Then there are a small number uh, who will get to the doctor, a smaller number who will go to the emergency room because they are so sick, and even a smaller number who get admitted. If the volume of infection that's occurring in general in children is higher, you would expect a higher number of children going to doctors and getting admitted. So yeah, we are seeing an unusually high number of kids infected with RSV coming to the emergency departments and being admitted to the hospital. That is certainly the case in Jacksonville as it is being seen in other parts of our country. And we know this illness affects children and for parents naturally that can be very frightening. So in the event that a parent finds their child sick, how soon should they take that child to the doctor? Yeah, as I always say, you know, parents have this parental common sense, you know, they know their child looks sick. So if, if you believe that your child is uh, looking sicker, call, you, <coughs> excuse me, call your pediatrician and they can advise you whether the child needs to be seen or not. Or and if, on the other hand, if your child looks so sick and you, you know, they need to be seen right away, don't hesitate to take them to the emergency department. Take to them, them to the emergency department, and the physicians in the emergency department can decide whether your child needs to be admitted or not. And uh, as I said, you know, a smaller number of children do get admitted. Just just so happens that the number of infections are so high right now in the community that the number of children being admitted uh, accordingly is also higher than usual. So. Uh, you know, there's nothing uh, specific 
that uh, you can say, oh, my child has RSV. Uh, just, you know, the usual things, you know, if your child looks sick, uh, take them to the doctor. All right. Thank you so much, Dr. Rathor. It was a pleasure. You're welcome. Thank you. All right, we'll be right back after the break.